Today we conclude our November series, Address the Mess. Before we uh, embark on today, let's do a little refresh, okay? A little refresh. If this is your first Sunday here, here's the, here's the review and renew and refresh of the last four, three weeks. Um, we started week number one uh, talking about uh, the mess in the mirror. The mess in the mirror. It's a good place to start. Before pointing the finger at somebody else's mess, let's look in the mirror at our own mess. Uh, and address our own mess before criticizing and judging other people and mess in their lives. Let's look in the mirror and address our own mess. Jesus said, take the log out of your own eye before you take the speck out of somebody else's eye. Good advice. And we talked about some of the mess in that first week that's created by our own busyness. And a lot of you could relate to that, right? The busyness, the frantic schedule, the crazy pace, the busyness of our life that creates a mess. And we talked about in week number one the, that sin and brokenness create quite a mess. So take your mess to the cross. Week number two... Uh, Susie did a great job of lifting up messy misconceptions, and she talked about how perfectionism and pride can mess us up, and how these misconceptions create mess in our lives, these misconceptions that I can do it all by myself, and I don't need any self-care, I shouldn't say no to anybody, shouldn't have any boundaries in my life, and boy, I shouldn't fail, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm fearful, I, I'm paralyzed, I cannot fail. If I fail, my life is shattered. I can't fail. I can't falter. Messy misconceptions that can wreak havoc in our lives. Week number three, last week, we talked about from mess to progress. We talked about the fact that God loves us, mess and all, just like we are, but he loves us enough that he doesn't want us to stay in our mess and just repeat our mess over and over and over again. He wants us to move from mess to progress and to to, uh, have our our lives changed, our lives transformed. That's what the Christian life is all about, transformation and change from the inside out. Jesus said to the woman caught in the act of adultery, we talked about last week, I forgive you. Your grace, my grace is extended to you freely, but now go and, and... don't continue in that way. Don't continue in that lifestyle. Go and, and sin no more. Live a new life. And so God calls us to live a new life. Where does that change and transformation come from? The Apostle Paul talked about it in Romans 12. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's an inside job. It's inside out. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So how do we have our minds transformed? How do we cooperate with God and the Holy Spirit so that our minds can be transformed and our lives transformed and we can move from mess to progress? Well, we feed our mind with truth. We free our mind from destructive thoughts. And we focus on the right things. What are the right things? Jesus, others, and as the Apostle Paul talked about, those things that are true, honorable, and right. Those things that are pure, lovely, and of good repute those things that are excellent and worthy of praise, we dwell on those things. And so we move from mess to progress. So today, uh, before we get out of the month of November, on this last Sunday of November, and this last uh, Sunday in our series, before we turn the corner into December, let's address the mess one more time, because here's the deal. I don't know if you remember this from the first week. The goal of this series is to address the mess in November so we can have a cleaner, better December. <laughs> address the mess in our lives this month so we can have a better next month, a better December and a better Christmas. So week four, let the mess Go. Let the mess go. And what am I specifically referring to today? Bitterness. Bitterness. Do you know what really messes us up? Do you know what really messes up our inner 